so this is how we make the El Chifo laser. This is the completed laser. Now this is the tricky part that needs a bit of metal work because you want to make a very nicely shaped hole for this. And the digi key, um, this is a standard part for digi key. You can see that the hole doesn't quite cut it. So we're gonna cut a new hole. This is a drill guide. Another drill press. It's a drill guide with just you know random ass drill on it. And the white part here is a 3D printed part which I have made. So the heat sink goes gets snugly in here. And now I drill through it. There we go. Do that again. All the aluminum crap should go down in the hole here. Next, what I have to do, and it's actually better if I do this with the thing on, and it's actually better if I do this. Now, this the problem with this hole is that it's too small. It's slightly too small. So what we do is give it another go. For good measure, you probably want to you know, move back and forth a bit. thing about this hole is that it has to be small because you want the um, laser module to fit very snugly in it. Why? Because thermal conductivity, that's why. So the next step, put the thing in here, like, like so. After which we put it in this uh, modified uh, vise. This is just a thirty-dollar vise. Probably have gotten a cheaper one, but that's what was around. I just drilled a hole in it. You can kind of see here, so that the end of the module will go through it. What I got to do next is make sure this thing fits where I want it to. One more, there we go. And that's it. All I gotta do now is press it in. Slowly and patiently, but it's still a lot faster than doing it completely by hand. Now one thing that's important is that this part here is aluminum, this part here is copper, there's a discontinuity. You want the heat sink to touch in the middle of the copper. So this is a bit of a way to go. The aluminum part is handy because it lets it protects the internals and sort of pre-enlarges the hole a little bit. And there we go, we hit copper. And there's definitely a lot more resistance. Now, this is a fairly clever system, but it still requires a bit of brawn. Especially at this step. Now the copper is going through. After it has, you can just quickly wrap it all up.
There we go. It went. And there we have it. Nice module. Good fit. And this is ready for final assembly once the PCB is done. So the strip plumber for robots everywhere. Sorry this video took a little longer than it should have, but this is how we make the El Chipo laser cutter. You, in the meantime, sorry for the mess. The 3D printer is doing its thing. Now this one is the this is the one with the laser on it. This is the one with the broom on it. This guy just runs all the time and pieces come out into this box here. Which in this case I need to tie back in place because the cord has come out. Nothing fancy. This is a very simple equipment which saves you a lot of time. That's the whole point, isn't it? And now you know how to put the model in yourself.